Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is about drawing in 3D. This is possibly not the poor man version like I've done before, and I'm a long way from here from getting this, and I cannot share this file because uh, I do not own it. But I, I did create this, and I'm going to show you how to do this, and then on a future videos pretty soon, I'll show you how I did this. See those triangular cone shapes that is actually just those dots in the center that did that so we're going to do this one first if you will go to flowers clip art just type in flower clip art black and white you can actually find this exact flower i'm going to hit p and put it in the center of the page i've already traced it and bitmapped it we're going to left click right click now this is a perfect good one to start with we're going to take our smart fill tool and let me see what my nudge factor is it's on four inches which is be good because this drawing is just a little more than three we're going to take our smart fill tool we're going to fill that in i'm going to hit the right arrow button and i'm just while i'm doing i'm smart filling all these shapes till I get all the shapes. Now we can take the Smart Fill tool and fill in our object. We're going to click over. We do not need this anymore, but we're going to save it. So we're just going to put it at the top. And then when you have this, you want to convert, convert this to a bitmap, black and white. What that's going to do is going to fuzzy it up a little bit. And for some reason in the 3D, that helps with the lasering. Now, this is going to be really hard to see in the video because I'm going to take all these and I'm going to left click, no fill, and I'm going to right click a light gray. Matter of fact, for the video, I'm going to make it a little bit darker gray so we can see them. But in yours, I would go with a light gray. Be hard to see. Now we can take these and we're going to put them to a little bit darker gray. And then all you have to do is just hit your new object, hit apply, keep hitting apply. You can only do one at a time. You can't do them all at a time. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to many videos on how to draw in more detail. I've learned a lot this morning by doing this. And yours are going to look a little bit different because we're going to start off with a lighter gray. But this one will actually work. Now we're going to take these and we're going to convert them to a bitmap. But we're going to convert them to a grayscale bitmap. Then let's click on them, select them, and cursor over. Go to Arrange, Order, Front of Page. And I must have clicked on that one somehow. Let's back up here. Sometimes you'll do that when you move things. I accidentally clicked on it or something. Somehow I moved that one out of position. But for the video, we might just move it down like that. And then take that one. I might have backed up too far, so we'll go to turn it to a bitmap, convert to bitmap, grayscale. And what that does, it just fuzzies it up a little bit. Now cursor over, go to Arrange, Order, Front of Page, and that will engrave and look very similar to this. With the exception, I would start off with a lighter gray. It's just so hard to see in the video. But the black is going to engrave really deep, and then the lighter colors are on the outside, and then they're going to engrave downward. And it'll be quite a bit different uh, when you do it. Because you'll have a lighter gray. And you can see in the picture here, this is what it should look like. It's a real light gray. So the laser, and then you're going to run it in a 3D mode. And if you don't know about that, you can watch my other videos. And I might add that in the next video. But next, I'm going to, next part of the day, I'm going to run this. It really surprised me. Uh, the detail 
that I got with this right there. Of course, it's fuzzy. I'm using a macro camera lens. And in every little pitfall, I actually sandblasted this, but I think it kind of looks like that before. A couple people have suggested just using a like an old toothbrush. Anyway, so stay tuned for further videos. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.